Hello, everyone. Generation after generation, Canadians have served and sacrificed as members of the armed forces. And today, we honour the brave women and men in uniform who serve and defend our country now and throughout our history. We pay tribute to our veterans, to those who've been injured in the line of duty, and to all of those who've made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom, our peace, and our democracy. We owe so much to those who bravely serve, to our veterans, to the fallen, and to the families who love and support them. They are parents, siblings, and friends. And every day, generation after generation, they have stepped up and put their lives at risk to make our country more prosperous, secure, and free. And the past year and a half has been no different. In the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, members of the Canadian Armed Forces once again answered the call of duty, risking their safety for the good of others. Time and time again, they show us the meaning of service and sacrifice, and we know there is more to do to support them too, like ensuring that the leadership and the culture of our Canadian Armed Forces are worthy of the extraordinary women and men who choose to serve. So this November, like everyone before, we will show our gratitude and respect for their courage by holding them close to our hearts in the form of a poppy. And on the 11th hour, we will honour the depths of their sacrifice with a moment of silence. For those who were lost, both today and yesterday, we will take the time to remember, lest we forget.